Good evening. My name is Jason Debley, and tonight's whiskey review is from a well known distillery, probably the most well known after Glenlivet and Glenfiddich. Glenfiddich is probably the number one best selling single malt in the world. That's not necessarily an endorsement for me, but it's widely available. Glenlivet is in second place, but in third place is a distillery that is truly great, and that would be Macallan. We're going to try, oh, I'm just trying to get my, there, the Macallan Classic Cut. We're going to try it tonight. I just opened the bottle and poured a glass and just had a little pinch and now I'm ready to do my review. It's alcohol by volume, 52.5, uh, yep, 52.5, comes in a 750 milliliter format and I just opened her. So I don't need to pour anymore. Got some right here. What can I tell you about McAllen? It's got a very good reputation. It's well deserved because they produce, in general, a fantastic product. They are famous for their Sherry Oak uh, brand extension, the 12 year old, the 18 year old, and even I think a 25 year old. I've had all three. They're all amazing. My favorite's the 18, but the price is just getting crazy. Um, that said, sometimes I think 800, I can get it, I think, for $800. That's a lot of money, I mean, but it's cheaper than a new suit. So sometimes you gotta think, maybe I want that Cherry Oak 18. Okay, I'm rambling. Why is McAllen so good? If you like Sherry Bombs, if you like complexity and perfection it's all here and what McAllen learned long ago and are the best at is wood management they have the best wood meaning they use they buy the most expensive sherry butts in Europe they buy the best bourbon casks and they blend them together to make a beautiful product. I know I'm sounding like a big McAllen fanboy, but uh, the Classic Cut is no exception. It's a really good product, and the Classic Cut comes out every year. So like there's a Classic Cut 2018, 2019, 2020. I have the 2022, and I've had a couple of bottles this year of this, and it's really good. It's a little under $200 in Canada, not sure what the price point is in the US, probably around $150. So it's not cheap, but it is good with Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, time off over the holiday period for atheists or whatever you are undecided and you feel like treating yourself, this is the way to go. Don't often buy it for a boss. It's just too good, and too expensive. Okay, enough about that. Let's talk whiskey. What does what do we get on the nose here? It's floral, it's delicate. Raspberries, strawberries. Um I had made some notes, but they're not around anymore. Vanilla. Cream, English cream. It's good. So let's we're gonna try this neat. I have a glass of water and a spoon. Now I should use something else, but you know, I'm gonna put some water in a little later, but just try it now. So this is um, complex, obviously a big sherry bomb. The uh, notes from the distillers say that there's some European oak and uh, American oak. American oak would be ex-bourbon casks. But I'm really tasting the uh, sherry cask or sherry butt influence here. It's overwhelmingly sherried in a good way. You're not getting any kind of uh, cheapness because the wood they use is the best. Uh, some distilleries that try to mimic uh, McAllen fail and they'll have like a sulfur note you're never going to get a sulfur note with McAllen and at this price point it's got to be good and it is 
Let's go again. It's chewy. Um, besides sherry and strawberry, dark black fruits, um, blackberry, a little bit of raspberry. It's spicy on the finish. It's got a lot going on. And I find on the finish, there's a little layer of uh, maybe like sage or some exotic spice. Okay, let's try a little water. Let's see what we do with a little water. Flavor becomes more chocolatey. I think of red licorice. More of a, a little hint of wasabi in a good way. It's all good. Crushed red velvet. It's a fist in a velvet glove. This is not beginner whiskey. This is not uh, for the novice. It is, I had a dinner party in the middle of the summer and I had a friend over, I met through golf and uh, Scott's his name and I, I, I poured him a dram and I was all excited. I thought he was going to love it. He didn't like it. It was too strong. You know, he doesn't drink scotch and to have this neat was my mistake. I just kind of forgot that, you know. So this is not for somebody who's dabbling in whiskey. This is for somebody who loves it and in particular likes space side cherry bombs. So that's my review and I'm sticking with it. The McAllen Classic Cut 2022 edition, highly recommended. Price point is a bit of a snake bite, but hey, the holiday season is coming. Cheers. Uh, we'll be doing some more reviews before December 25th just to help you out if you need something for Santa's list. Thanks for tuning in and uh, take care. Cheers.